Okay, so we're on to page two, and what I'm going to make is a um, clear page. I have um, a, just a, uh, what is this called? A page protector. I got it at Office Depot. They were having to sell a hundred of them for $80. $80. Oh my good lordy. No, no, no. That's not correct. <laughs> I would have never paid that. A hundred for eight dollars. I mean, it's the heavy duty. So it's, they're, you know, pretty thick. And what I'm going to do is, and, and I've got a fuse tool, toy, tool. Um, and I know it has an adapter that you could put on to cut things, but when I, I've, I've only done this, this will make my second time. Um, and so the, when I did my mock-up, when I did my prototype, I just used um, uh, scissors to cut. So that's what I'm going to stick with because, you know. All right, I'm going to line it up. I'm going to keep this edge. I know a lot of people go ahead and cut all this off, but I'm using this as the flap because it's going to go um, inside. Oh, where are my pages? There they are. So it's going to go inside here and flip out when you open it. And this is going to go in it, and this is going to go in it, and then on the bottom there should be a little place to put a little bit of shaker stuff in it, sequins and stuff. So, I'm going to line it up the best that I can. And I don't need these three sides. So, I'm going to trace around it with my Sharpie marker. And I tested, and it will come off with alcohol if I get it onto the transparency or if I don't cut too straight. And I'm going to use a pair of scissors because I found you cannot use... Okay, what did I just roll over? You can't use... Um, your cutter. I tried it. It did not work. Okay. Let me go there we go. Alright, so now what? Why did that not mark? I do not know. So let's try it again. There we go. Alright. I'm just going to bit. This is the template. I just cut it out. And this is the, the uh, part of the main base of your page. So, All right now, I'm just going to cut it out. So, I'll be back when I cut it out. Okay, so I've got it cut out and it opens. It's only closed on this side, which is what I want. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this card. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm going to take this card, and this is from the Ultimate um, DIY scrapbook, and it's a label. So it's going to be a perfect fit for what I want. So I'm just going to lay it in, and I'm going to just eyeball it, just to try to have the same amount of space between everything. Okay, that's good enough. And then I'm going to take this little ruler, this came with it, and I'm just going to flip it. I'm going to flip it this way so I can see how much space I'm giving, giving it to make sure that I'm being even. And that looks about right. Now I take my tool, and the trick is you don't go too fast, nor do you go too slow. Just kind of motor along. Okay. So that side is down. And now I want to close the bottom. Because I want it to come in and out. You know, so she could put pictures on it or whatever. So now I'm going to do the bottom. Okay, I think I'm going a little too fast. 
I gotta kind of slow my roll. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't quite get. Okay, I was going a little bit too fast. Don't do that. <laughs> like I said, this is my second time working with this thing. Okay. I don't think I got a little off. Dang it. Oh well. This is for my cousin, so I don't think she'll mind these little boo boos. All right. So now this can go in and out. Okay, so that's cool. All right, now I'm gonna put this one over on this side, right? So I'm just gonna place it in there. And again, I'm gonna give it about as much room, you know, as I did over here. And the first thing I want to do, I think, I think I've got a hair inside there. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's on the back side. No, wait. It was. <laughs> yeah, when you have pets, that happens. I'm just going to put this upside down for right now, just so that I can kind of visualize it better as far as that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go this way so I can see the bottom. Alright, again, slow, Gina. I'm going to go all the way over. Okay. All right, so there's that. And then I'm going to go down. Here we can. I want to see how far I'm going. I'll get it in a minute. Type. I must have given myself some more more room. I'm gonna come over just a little. Okay, actually now I think I'm gonna do it this way. Sorry guys, again this is my second time doing this. I want about that much space. Slow, slow, slow and steady wins the race. So, if she has a, a bigger picture, she could put it in there, but I'm just going to put this in here for right now for her, just as a placeholder. And I will use alcohol to get rid of the marks there. Okay, but those go in. And now for the fun part. Yay! And that's to add little sequins and stuff to in here. I've got these. I bought these at Michael's. And they're with the um, paper stuff, like the embossing at my Michaels. They're called glitter, but, I mean, they're chunky. So this is going to work perfectly. I'm going to put a little bit of this blue in there. Just tap, tap it in there. Okay. And then I think I want to put some of this white, this iridescent white in there. Okay, that looks cool. And let's see. I think, um, I kind of dig these little hearts here. 
put a few of these in there. And not too many. Okay. Give it that goldy look. And I kind of like the dark. A little bit of dark stars just to have a little bit of contrast. Okay, and now I want to see. I do have these little charms, and I don't know if it will fit in there. And if we'll be able to close it. Oh, I think we can. So that's all I'm going to put in there, I think. Um, I don't know. I think it needs some pink. Just a smidget of pink. And I bought these at Joann's. They came with a whole thing here with this type of glitter, regular glitter that you're used to, you know. So let me put just a couple. Here, I'm going to pour them in my hand because I don't even want that many. Literally like that many. I don't want that, you know, too too much of the pink. Well, I'll get that up in a minute. <laughs> okay, and then I think... Where did they go? Oh, there they are. And then I have these. I found these at... Um... Where did I get these? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So, I thought these would look cute. So, literally a few of these too. I don't want a whole lot of these either. Okay, not even that many. too big. It might overshadow the... Let's see. What if I put them like behind the shell here? They're going to move around though, I'm pretty sure, once I get it closed. Not quite like a shaker because it's, you know... Alright. Okay. I feel like it needs more black. Just a little. Um, let's do the stars. Do I have any black stars? Those are silver. I know I have black sequins. I bought some. Oh, what did I do? Hold on. Okay, I've got these sequences. Might be too big. I think these are going to be too big. I don't want them that big. I want it tiny. Here, I'm going to put some more of these little stars. These right there. I think. Just a couple. Just to give it a little bit. Okay, Gina, that wasn't a couple. Okay, that's good, though. Alright, now I'm going to try to close this up. Wish me luck, everyone. Oh. Uh, just as I suspected. The um, charm is getting in the way, but I really want it. So what if I went like, stay in there, stay, everybody, stay. I know this is such a small pocket and I've got all it, I mean, I'm like, got it filmed to the realm. Okay, I think the problem is the charm. I think it's causing the malfunction. So let's just take it out. I am going to make other shakers, so hopefully it will fit in there. Now that I've taken that out, let's put some more of that. Okay, now, now we will close it. Move all these little guys out of the way. Here, I'm going to put these in there. Why not? Now that I took... Now then, 
in. Now then, and I line the shot. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race, remember. Slow and steady. I'm going off the grid. I'm going off the grid. Ah. Keep going off the grid. Okay. But it worked. Whoa. So there we are. Uh oh, some coming out. I don't think so. All right, there it is. So when she flips it, she'll see. All right. Um. Okay, I'm just making sure. There it is. Isn't that adorable? So there we go. So there's the front part. So let me clean this mess up, and then I'll. Get back with you. Okay, so now then, now let's put the page together. All right, so all of this, <laughs> I will be making shakers on the other side, but for right now, let's concentrate on. Okay, what is that for? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we have flip flips, that's right. All right. So again, um, this is the insert. Okay. That goes to that, okay. So let's let's create the insert first. Let's move that to the side. And again, it's just going to be an envelope. So, oh my gosh, y'all, oh, I'm having the worst day. I lost the little silver thing metal thing that I just used and it took me like 20 minutes to find it because my room is a wreck. Okay, so we're just going to make this envelope to be as an insert. I thought was out of frame. Okay. So this is just going to be an insert. So I'm just going to set it over to the side right now. And then this is our Okay, these are my flips. And that goes like that. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the pocket on first. Do it like this. so. And this is part of the keepsake templates. All of this is so far that I've done. Being adventurous, no glue. 
Yay! <laughs> okay, so we got a pocket. Okay, and that's where that will go. This insert is supposed to go right there like that. Pretty, pretty. Sorry about that, guys. My camera shut off, so I don't know where I was at. <clears throat> um, but I put the pocket on and the insert that I made goes right in there. So now I'm going to put the flaps on because I want it to have two flaps. And these flaps are from the Ultimate Scrapbook. I don't well, I better be safe than sorry. And I'm putting them on the edge because I do want them to have room in the center. Okay. Do this one. I'll move it over to the edge as well. As much as I can get it. And then there we go. All right. So we have flip, flip. Pocket with an insert. Okay. And then we've got, so it's going to look like this. Flip, flip, okay. So let me, I'm just going to score this down. On that pre made line makes it a little bit easier. Okay, then I'll put my tape on there. be the first thing you see when you get to this page. All right. All right. So when you get to the page, you'll see this flip, 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 pocket. Um, maybe I had this in here to do a band belly band because that looks a little plain and it would work we'll see about that okay so okay so now we we'll go to the back page and um I'm gonna put a belly band here this is my insert for that belly band. I'll go like that. Um, and then this is, we're going to be making little shakers out of these guys. And then these will be flips. So, um, I want to go ahead though and put this together because we only need to, you know, glue it onto the side. So I can go ahead and put the page together. 
I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have page, flip, flip, insert, pocket. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the belly band on. That's our insert. It goes in there. Okay, so now what we want to do is I've already this these parts right here are from the ultimate um, scrapbook, and I've already cut these out. Um, I had to do it by hand and eyeball it because I had no mat to do it. So. But like I said, this is a gift for my cousin, and I really don't think she's going to be like, oh my gosh, this looks so janky, Gina. What are you giving me? I mean, I think it'll look cute. Listen, I, I would be okay with it. And if I feel like if I'm okay with it and I'm as crazy as I am, that other people will be too. So, I mean, it is handmade. People have got to remember that, you know, that things are handmade. So what I've done is I went ahead and cut out what I needed to, but I wanted to show you how I did this. So this was solid just like this, right? And it's got a flap on it, um, but I cut the flap off the back piece. I butted it up and then I took a pencil and I traced out the shape so I will know what I need to cut out. All right. So now what I want to do is take my craft knife again and I'm going to just cut on these lines as best as I can. Okay. I should get Barry to do this. He has a way better steady hand than I do. Okay, I think what I did though, I don't think I even used that because it's um, got curves and stuff in it. So it's kind of hard to have an edge. Yeah, they want to go this way. Um, like I said, this is my first time, well, this is my first time making, well, I made a shaker for my wallet, so, um, but that was not like an, a, this type of, um, what do you call this, design, you know, straight, straight lines, this got, has curve in it, I don't know what I was thinking, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this would look so cute, and then when I started, actually started, um, cutting it out, I was like, what have I gotten myself into? So, yeah. I mean, I'll try to clean that up the best that I can, so.
And then by the time I realized, you know, that it was going to be a little challenging, it was too late. I already was in love with the design, the way it looked. So I was like, well, you know, you're just going to have to do it the best you can do it. So that's what I did. Okay. I don't think that's too bad. All right. So I've got those cut out now. All right. So now what I want to do, and I'm going to save that. Who knows what I might use it for. Um, now I have foam tape or 3M tape, mounting tape, whatever you want to call this. And this is the only size that I could find. I know. It's huge. But I figured um, I can trim it what I need to trim, hopefully. So I will show you on this one sh one shaker how we do it, and then I will do the other shaker um, on my own. Okay, again, oh my gosh, I didn't think of this. It's going to have to have curves in it. Because the whole thing is you don't. You want it to have a little bit of a lift. Let's cut this part off. Okay, that'll work. All right. Um, I don't know if this is going to end up working or not, y'all. I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it the old college try. No quitter. That's one thing about me. I won't quit until I absolutely have to. Alright. So I'm going to put this guy on the edge here. Okay. There we go. <sighs> wow. I might have to do just like little strips, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like to get around that. Here, let's try it. Let's just see. Okay. All right. So, now we've got that. So, we've got our foam around it. Now, um, what we want to be able to do is, I'm just making sure. Okay. Yep. All right. So, now we go back to the transparency, not transparency, what are these, um, whatever these are, <laughs> ah, page protectors, we need actually the template of that, hold on, okay, so I have the template of it, sliver off just to have two pieces I don't think too much well oh my goodness gracious all right there, now we have two pieces. Now it should 
fit. Like so. Okay. Oh. Should I have waited to do the foam? I don't know. I think I might have goofed up. I tell you why this was different for me because when I did it the only other time I've done this I had a backing on that's why I just screwed up all right I'm gonna have to think about how to fix this hold on okay so I've got all that off and now I'm gonna use my template or my um there it is my piece of paper protector and I'm gonna use some glue on here. I'm hoping this will work. <sighs> Probably would have been best if I did not use um, one with a such a pattern. Alright, now what I want to do is just lay this on top of there. Okay, so we've done that. So, Um, and it's a little big, so we will just trim it up. Okay. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on this one. So I'll be back when I get all of that done. Okay, so I've got the tape on. One, just one. That's all you want it on one side. <clears throat> and I have some cornstarch in here. Oops, that came out quite a lot. Didn't mean for that to come out as much as it did. Um, but this should help static clean so that it won't... Um, so you can put the things on easier. All right. So now let's do the fun part and fill it up. And maybe with this, I can put the starfish in there. Let's see if we'll be able to do. Yeah, should be able to work. Yeah, okay, let's see. I want some of the white, of course. And some of the dark. Of course we want some of the blue. I'll put some more of these sequences in. And I want some of the pink, I think. Just a few. Okay. 
And I think I will try the black sequence. Just a few of those as well. Just kind of make it pop, you know. All right, so I hope I didn't overfill it. We will find out. Now I'm going to take the backing off and then gently put this on top of that. So let's do that. So I'm going to take the backing off. Okay, let's cross our fingers that this will work. Good squish all the way around. And it did. It worked. Yay. Oh my gosh. It worked, y'all. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Yay. Um, I just need to do a little bit of trimming. Just to make it look a little better. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. So now, let's move this out of the way. All right. So we have it like this, right? Oh, no, wait. Hurt. Flip, flop, 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 flop. Okay. And now we want to put this door on. And what I did with this one, it was pretty long and I ended up having to cut it for it to fit. Um, but it worked, so I just measured it to see, excuse me, to make sure that it would fit properly. Okay, we want it down at the very bottom. Alright. Get in there. So like that. glue on that? I don't think I yeah, did. Come on. Get in there better. And get down there better. Okay, not that far in there. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, and then this one that I do in there. And then this will go in like so.
And this will go like that. Alright. And I may have to Velcro maybe not. So there you have it. Flip, flip. And band. Which should go more snug. There it goes, like that. Bring it down just a little. Bring it down just a smidgen more. Like that. There. It's just going to have to go like that. Okay. So we have flip, flip, and pocket. Alright, and then we'll do the exact same thing over on the other side. Alright. So, I will be back with you when I get this side done. Okay, so I got I got it done. Um, and I think it looks adorable. So, that one's got the little seashell in it. And then this one, I put a little heart in it. So, I think it turned out so cute. So now... It's time to put the whole page into the book. So, what I want to do is, again, put some score tape on here. Put it here. Oh my, sorry, I was off camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I put tape, put tape here and here. Sorry. Grr. I'm trying my best to make sure that I'm in camera, in frame. Then I'm going to take some of my glue stick and put it on the tape just so I can have some wiggle room with it. Alright, and it goes this way. It should just slip right down on there. stuff on this. Maybe too much. I don't know. I, kinda, I think I may have got a little carried away <laughs> with some of my ideas, but I don't know. I am loving it. I think it looks so pretty. 
So, we have flip, pocket, flip, band, or not band, pocket, insert, and then we have band, flip, pocket, envelope with a flip out. And then we have clear page with some sparklies, flip, flip, pocket, envelope, which I will put inserts in later. I'm wondering if I need to do a, a border on those. I don't know. Maybe. And then we've got another shaker, another shaker flip, flip, flip band and insert. So that is what we've got so far in our little book. And this holds three pages. 